you could probably put that griddle on there if you just, as long as it wouldn't pop it. Yeah, probably. We can carry the heat. It's going to be hotter. But. Really pretty crink. We're camped up here in uh, Suches, Georgia. First time we've been here. It was a little sketchy getting into the uh, camping spot here. Real tight turns, really just for a for a Jeep. And we're in a full size '90s model Chevrolet. So a little tight turns here and there, but we made it in. I think we can get back out. And uh, we're going to have stew tonight, beef stew. I'm just going to show you the creek. Yeah, this isn't too far from where I live, up here in the mountains. Really big trees up in here. Looks like it has been logged in probably 60, 70 years. It's mainly what we're traveling on is, is uh, old Forest Service roads, logging roads. Stuff part of the uh, sections of the Georgia Traverse, Georgia Overland, stuff like that. Weather's been perfect. It's been pretty, pretty hot during the heat of the day, but at night it's feels like it's about 60, 55, 60 degrees. This camera's making my beard look exceptionally red today, which usually it does that in the summer. It gets really almost orange. 
but <clears throat> the camera's really making it pop today. Looks like we might have finally got the fire burning correctly. This wood's a little damp, so it's taking, taking more time than normal. Another one of those millipedes. I've seen like two others of them. Yeah, I think they're creepy. Check out some wildlife here. A bunch of these millipedes around here for some reason. A whole lot of them. Creepy little things. Alright, so we got this little Dutch oven here. That I've had for a few, probably two months now. First chance I've got to use it. It's a little tiny one. That Lodge doesn't make anymore. Uh, so I had to order it off of eBay. I think it's just cute as it can be. Look at this thing. This tiny little Dutch oven. Lodge. Lodge number eight. It's a little tiny. Probably hard for it to tell how small it is, but it's a little bitty one. It's nice for camping, that way it's not taking up so much space. Miscellaneous crap like that. Brian's doing a saucier stuff over here. Browning up the steam meat. I even brought my little rigid fan over there. Because it is getting kind of hot during the day, so the little fan, especially when you're sleeping, keeps the air stirring around, keeps it comfortable. Saucier stuff. All right, so we got the Dutch oven loaded up. We got stew inside it. First use of the little mini Dutch oven. Wildly expensive, but enough for about two people or three people that aren't fat like us. So set it off to the side of the fire because we don't have enough coals built up right now. So we could put some stuff on top of it, but we're just going to rotate it around. I think it looks cute as shit sitting there beside the fire. Little tiny Dutch oven, it's so cute. Anyway, give me an update after it cooks a little. All right, so now we switched over to hanging the Dutch oven because we were having trouble getting it to uh, cook evenly and stay stable sitting there beside the fire. So I built this tripod and uh, You can see in here, took some tent stakes, bent them to make a chain, hook it to a couple pieces of paracord at the top so that it could free hang there. And uh, it's working out pretty good so far. We're worried about the tent stakes uh, getting hot enough to melt the paracord, but. Looks like it's gonna be all right. And I think that's a pretty sight there. Nice tripod. With the little baby Dutch oven hanging from it. There you go. Now she's in focus. Little cute little Dutch oven. I 
Hopefully the hooks will stay together. We brown the meat in this on the little stove we were cooking the bacon on earlier. Brown the meat and some bacon grease here on this little single burner Coleman stove. <laughs> 